Welcoming the Indian delegation, President Ifike Punye Pohamba recalled the time when India stood solidly by Namibia during the early days of the struggle for independence. Since then, said the President, India continued to assist Namibia in different ways. The Namibian leader indicated that such a good gesture had not gone unnoticed by the country's political leadership. It was India in the whole world that accorded us as a liberation movement to open an embassy in Delhi. Even the African countries which were free at the time. They accorded us to have offices, but not at the ambassadorial level. Anad Sharma is a former foreign affairs minister of India. He spoke of the shared relationship with Namibia, which was cemented further when President Pohamba paid a state visit to that country in 2009. Shared experiences of struggle, fights against decolonization, and for freedom. As you have said, India, from the very first day, stood up in solidarity with the just cause of your people. The Indian minister arrived in Namibia yesterday by chartered plane. He informed the president of his discussions with different cabinet ministers, detailing the economic engagements and new priority sectors to be identified. I'm sure that the promise and potential of this partnership is big enough to attract our institutions, our investors, so that we can have a roadmap giving more depth and diversity to this partnership. Since a foundation has already been laid, India has pledged to remain a dependable friend to Namibia, especially in the areas of economic and technological cooperation, doing so in a win-win situation. I'm Samashanika at State House for NBC News.